1824. He was made in 1854. 44. Come on, man. Let's get this right. The 25th anniversary. <laughs> Mr. Butler, I can't do this. I. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh. Thought you were Mr. Butler. Have you seen him lately? I I've decided I don't want to do this whole Tales from the Crypt thing, and I need to let him know. His expectations are just so high, you know? He's accomplished so much in his life, and I can't even memorize my own script. What do you want? Don't <laughs> do you even know who I'm talking about? Are you sure? Master teacher, haunted house owning, king of Columbus, do you know who I'm talking about? Let's t test your knowledge, Missy. <laughs> Mr. Butler was born in 1939, and after graduating from Murrah High School in 1957, he began his career of excellence of Florida State University where he became the first out-of-state scholar to become student body president. Following graduation and a brief three years in the Air Force, Mr. Butler attended Vanderbilt University to pursue his PhD in political science. After his education, Mr. Butler involved himself with many things. He led 22 out of 23 Columbus swim teams to the state title and even had one national champ. <coughs> Wonder who that could be. Breaststroke! Breaststroke! Butterfly! Butterfly! Can't you tell he taught me? Alright, so it wasn't me. But you get the idea. He was a great swim coach and a great politician who ran for the U.S. House in 1972 along with other famous Mississippians like Trent Lott and Thad Cochran. And Mr. Butler he got second place! <laughs> Out of two! <laughs> Ugh, gross. But, Mr. Butler, he didn't just stop with politics and sports, no! He also really enjoyed history. He acted as Historic Sites Commission Chairman, President slash Founder of Historic Columbus, and as Chairman of the Columbus Bicentennial. He even purchased the Brownrigg Estate, Temple Heights, where his wife Dixie currently lives today, and where he died in 2003. But Mr. Butler meant much more to the community than the sum of his accomplishments. He impacted us during his life and after his death. Teacher. They could have written so much more. In fact, don't tell Mr. Butler what I said earlier, okay? I, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Let me get back to practicing before he gets back and realizes I've totally forgotten my lines. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>